Hi guys, welcome back. This is another Take It Racing 2 devlog and uh, in this video I'll be going over what I've been doing in my absence, you could say. Uh, I've been... What I've been doing is uh, making the tutorial better for the uh, for the game. Um, obviously I won't, I won't play it, uh, but um, I'll just run you through it. So I've got this uh, new character that uh, is called Carl Pitt. Uh, and he basically tells you everything you need to know. He gives you this new car, uh, and then he runs you through how the racing works, and then he lets you do it yourself. Uh, and this means that uh, you'll be doing time trials, basically, so you can understand uh, how how you can get the fastest lap and uh, how that, like how the mechanics actually work. Because obviously, I felt like it wasn't that clear before, and hopefully, this now should be a lot clearer. I have a few things to uh, fix of it, but I think it is. I could post this now, but I I want to. I mean, I could up to update the itch page with this now, but I want to uh, run through the things I'm also doing, and I want it to be uh, a bigger update so that uh, you know you don't keep coming back. You don't have to keep coming back every time I update. I just give a big update. You can play it once. Give me your feedback, uh, and move on until I do the next big update rather than drip feeding you okay so uh, I've been I've been uh, thinking about how to do the the buying and selling cars because obviously in the full game there will be more than just the six cars or however many have five cars uh, which will mean that it will be quite hard to list them all like I have here currently you just have a button and it just says you know next 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 and then you get to the end and it sends you back. But if we, if I have, even if I had twenty cars in the game, that would be annoying. So I'm, I'm making a way of uh, organizing them. It'll be using a world map, so you can see the regions. When you click on the region, it'll bring you to the cut, like the uh, into that region where you can see the countries, and then from the countries you can go into the manufacturers. And at each of those stages, you can just view all of the cars of that kind. You can also fill you. I want to make it so you can also filter by class. Um, and this will take a lot of, uh, energy, I think, but also, um, it's very simple to do for the, uh, for the, for the demo. The demo should be easy because I only have American cars in the demo. So I just have to read, I just have to have the region set up for the, uh, Americas, which is easy. And obviously since everything's the same class as well, it's, uh, there's basically no difference of turning the filter on or off. Okay, so th that's out of the way. I also uh, have decided that I will probably take out, it currently says real, real drive here, right? That This has nothing to do with anything. It, I thought it might have, you know, like how racers can say, oh, it has to be a real wheel drive car, but I don't think that's really that necessary. So I'm going to take this out and I'm gonna, obviously going to put the danger score in, the, in its place, um, which I've talked about before, I think, of basically uh, when you drive aggressively, it there's a there's a chance that things could go wrong and obviously it could cause a pile up uh, and stuff like that in the in the game and you have to you might lose your car but you also have the chance to buy it back or something like that i haven't uh fully decided since it's a it's a big decision uh, i also i feel as though it might be easier and it might make more sense sorry if if i keep it in this classic color palette since i want to make the game up until you know, like the years in the game, uh, it starts in 1950, up until 1989, which is when the original Game Boy was released. And then maybe I can release a, uh, you know, an extra bonus color version that goes up until when the Game Boy Color was released, which might be a, a fun bonus. Uh, rather than making this all color and wasting my time, you know, painting everything and worrying about how things look, when I can just get on with the uh, actual game. Uh, I hope that doesn't uh, upset any of you. Obviously, there's not very many of you, but you might be. You might really wanted the color version. Um, what else? Um, yes, drag racing. I've been. I've spent most of my time thinking about drag racing, and I've managed to come up with uh, a prototype that actually could be 
uh, of use, right? It like it actually works, and uh, I'm thinking, I I'm currently in the phase of bringing it from this different um, project into the main project, and I'll just run through how it works. Basically, um, obviously, the position will say whether you're in the lead or not. Um, but these little white dots will be your car position and obviously they can they can move like this and as the the ba the game is basically down on update on this one so every time you uh the, like the game updates you'll be moving forwards hopefully but you move forwards by matching your slider here with this this is this will be like the uh basically the power score of your vehicle just determines how high this is up and then obviously you start at the top so that uh, it can drop down but then you you mash uh X or Z or A or B, and you uh, it goes up, right? And you have to try and match it with this. And obviously the the race goes on. And obviously if you have got a good power score, if you've matched it as as much as you could throughout the race, hopefully you win. As long as you know your car isn't completely underpowered. Uh, obviously I can show that to you now. Um, I just have to rerun it. I've silenced it currently. Uh, these lights, when they go on and off, they they actually um, they actually beep. Yeah, they actually beep when the lights go on and off. So uh, uh, it brings this illusion to it, you know, that you're actually in the race. And then hopefully when it goes beep at the last beep, uh, the music kicks in, right? But I haven't got that music yet. So okay, now I'm mas mashing X, um, and obviously the you have to mash it pretty hard. <laughs> And pretty fast to get it to move up and that's why it starts at the top so that you can slide down because um, obviously it's pretty hard to get up to the top but if you were to smash it on start then it would um, it would be it'd be closer yes so that's basically how it works uh, it, the actual functionality of it moving isn't in yet because I'm I want to use the um, I want to use the stats from the main game, such as your power score, the pl the player or the other player's power score, and basically like the time values. I've got that all set up, and I have the uh, you know the custom events to handle it for me easier. So I'm I've just basically done the gameplay, right? So what are you actually doing? How it starts? Uh, the currently you might have seen the position like going rant, like going crazy, and that was because it was updating every frame it was just doing the time so I could see the time going down and now the time has stopped because the race has died uh, and the rate and the time will start again but obviously in the real game that will be the position displayed up here right so I think that's everything for now uh, I, that's obviously probably things I've forgotten but I hope this guy this gives you an insight into what's going on in my brain right now of take it racing 2 I might be busy uh, I have a couple of other things on my plate right now um, but I really hope I can get this out to you guys. I don't know when, but uh, as you can see, I already have the the basis of it. Um, I, if you guys really want, I can put out the tutorial. Uh, it's already in. Uh, it all is functional. Um, I would love to get your feedback on that. I've got some feedback on it already, uh, which is very helpful. Um, but this drag racing is where the current uh, brunt of my my labor is. Um, I might be able to send you guys a uh, in progress of it, maybe. I don't know. But yes, but uh, give me your feedback, guys. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Like this video if you liked it, if you want to see more. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.